Alright, welcome back to Twilight Zone of Trenchcoat. I'm Ben Hartsley, and today we are playing the Sea of Stars demo. Oh man. So, I've been seeing art for this game um, just online, mostly on Twitter, um, for the past couple of months now. And I've been like, ooh, that looks really cool. I wonder what that is. Or maybe it's just someone's like OC drawing. It looks like really cool. Like, hmm. And now I just come to find out it's a game called the Sea of Stars that um, just kind of like brings, when I see it, it brings me back to the nostalgia of old turn-based RPGs, like the classics of old. And like I've played, um, like, I love turn-based RPGs, like, deep down in my core, that's like what I was, that's what I was brought up on, like, those are the first games that I've ever played, um, like, um, Final Fantasy VI, um, the first video game I ever bought for myself, Final Fantasy Tactics, I kind of just saw, like, a little picture on the front, I'm like, hmm, Final Fantasy on the Game Boy, I wonder what that is, and I bought that, uh, Chrono Trigger, um, it kind of also gives me the feel of, like, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, in a way. I'm not sure why, but I just, like, I just, like, it's my bread and butter, so to speak. So, um, there was an Xbox preview at the time of recording yesterday, so the 11th? No, the 12th. Or maybe it was the 11th. I'm pretty sure, okay, so the the preview was on the 11th, and it threw out a bunch of um, different um, things that were coming this year and then beyond, and I saw and heard that there was a demo for Sea of Stars, and I was like, like, at this point, I already known that it was a game and that it was coming out in August, but I didn't know that they had a demo, and... I feel like most games now these days could really just, like, have a demo. I would love to play a demo of a game. Because sometimes you look at something and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'd, like, you know, I'd be interested in that. And, of course, it's just, like, you don't, you yourself don't want to just, like, spend money, obviously. And the gameplay doesn't come an hour in, and by that point, you can't even refund it because it's digital. But... A game will always have my respect in some way, shape, or form if I'm like, oh yeah, there was a demo and I was able to perfectly find out if I liked this game or not. But then there's some games that you can just look at and be like, oh my gosh, yes, I love you. Come here. <laughs> so this is one of those games just because it like just like rings something in the back of my mind where I'm just like, Ah, uh, yes, I'm 10 years old again. I have my Game Boy SP. Um, I'm in the back of the car on a road trip, and I'm playing Final Fantasy Tactics. So, ramble, rant aside, see you stars demo. Um, I didn't get to play fully the demo. I didn't get to, like, do much. I kind of just, like, popped in, looked around to, like, get a look at it and obviously I just like I looked at it and I was like oh my gosh I love this <laughs> just I was like let me just record it and be done with it but I'm pretty sure it's about 45 minutes of gameplay um it doesn't put you at the very beginning of the story so there will be dialogue that you kind of you'll hear and it'll be like well who's that and we don't know because it's just I don't know how far into the game it is, but it's not the very beginning. So, yeah, let's get started. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. So we have two main characters. We have Valerie, if I'm saying that right. A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. And then we have Zael, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon. So I, I am I am much into uh, moon stuff. Moon type beat, nighttime type stuff. 
So, Valerie it is. And as I said, you can change it at any point. The camp can rest, and you can change it there. Garl, who is our third party member. No way, that was awesome! Yeah, what a ride. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. So, the eclipse will happen soon, and, but we're no closer to Wraith Island. I doubt we'll find a ship at this altitude. To ground level, then? Only one way to go from here, anyway. Okay, it's interesting that we're starting at this point because I remember catching the preview, just like a glimpse of it, and um, the part that is shown is this like titan type thing just throwing that ball. And I'm like, that's a way to travel. So it's interesting to see like the other half of it or it's like in a different spot. I don't know, but it's interesting like just seeing it, like seeing the the end part of that so in any case let's look around a little bit adventure tips traversing the world is a tactile experience you can hoist up or jump off of most ledges with a you can also use a to cling to climbable surfaces more information in the pause menu how to play section okay cool and they have a how to play which is really cool like, I think it's- I- I don't know if it'll be expanded upon when the full game comes out, but this is all you'll need for the demo, basically. So there's the movement, which is moving around, climbing part that they were telling us about, um, hoisting yourself up, jumping off of ledges, swimming, which you can do a little- a little of, and then the initial bracelet, which we will use at some point later on. Um, press X to shoot bursts of wind back from push blocks, and then we won't go too much into it because looking at it, for me at least, like, I learn more by doing things, so I could read till the cows come home, but, like, I won't know how it actually plays out until I actually am doing this with my hands. So, there's some clips right here we can... Okay. Oh, we can see a chest down there. That's nice. Come in here and find a Solstice Mage Ring. I keep hitting the wrong button. It's Y on the Xbox. Um, it's Y to open up your inventory. And it just, oh, I just click something in my brain. I'm just looking at it and I'm like, hmm. So from the top, we can see we have 84 gold. Um, we have, we're at level 3. We're about... Mm, a little more over than halfway there. We can equip things. Go to everybody. There's a thing called cargo. We'll see about that later. We can skills. It's just the same. And then we can go into our bag and see that we have herb flats, um, berry jam, mushroom soup. So there is crafting kind of cooking in this game. Cooking in this game. Um... We have a cookie jar, which is a key item, so it has the key at the top. Um, from that time, they're all snuck into Zenith Academy. Um, the Mitchell bracelet that we heard about beforehand. Um, mushrooms, potatoes, red berries. So we've got a good stock of like things to cook with. Um, a cauldron lid, a squire sword, and the copper staff. This is just what our heroes are equipped with at the moment. Um, the adventurer's vest. Garl has that at the moment. Basic armor, our two heroes, main characters have that. Um, an abacus, which is um, shows non-boss enemies HP in battle, in combat, which does come in handy. I don't know if it, like, I wouldn't understand why you would take that off, but it just allows you to see when you're in fights how much HP they have. But also take note that it says non-boss enemy HP in battle. So bosses are just flying freely with unchecked, except 
The Solstice Mage Ring that we just got, party members recover 1 MP, which is a magic point, when they time a block. And then this is empty at the moment. We have skills, which is just the things that they use. Like, this is their magic attacks. Yeah, magic attacks, so it uses MP, is at the side. It's, its effects is like the thing. You, we'll get more into it when we get into combat, but the MP is something that is very important. Um, Solstice Strike, this is just the combos that people can do. So if you see on the side, it says allies. These are the people that you use like to do the combo, and then that's the cost. And you see it goes up. The cost is three, which this is the cost is one. I feel like a better person we can look at is him, because he has um, a combo with Garl, which is Solar Rain. And it costs two, but it uses Garl and Zale. And then from combos, yep, just skills combos. Relics. So this is for the demo, I'm pretty sure, or it's going to be in the base game, I'm not entirely sure. They said everything that is in the demo is subject to change, nothing is set in stone. So for those who prefer a lighter challenge, and then that's the amulet of storytelling for those who prefer a lighter challenge, and then sequent flare, a clear confirmation for successful timed hits and blocks. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback. And then, um, the amulet, um, gives max HP plus 100 and auto heal up to 75% after combat. So I'm gonna go for what this, like, its default state is, which is both of them off. I don't know what this sequence flare is. Oh, timing flare. Okay. I might go for the sequence flare. Or we'll try, if we can... Um, get some combat so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so equip. Um, I'll equip. I'll equip Zale with. It's a ring item almost. Well, I guess these are rings. I don't know what this is like a bell. Well, it says a ring. I'm not crazy. <laughs> hmm. But if we can get him to time a block perfectly, he can recover one MP. And he has healing magic, so I think that would be best. Yeah. Skills, he's healing light. So he restores HP to a single ally, which will come in handy. Oh, I like these. I like the symbols. Like, that's an upside down moon with like a dot, and then like an upside down half crescent sun almost. Not really half crescent, but like half of a sun. Interesting. All right, cool. Oh, we can jump down here. Um, oh, I can't go back to the top. But we find 90 gold, which is definitely absolutely gonna come in handy. I didn't think I could hoist myself up that high, but all right. Climb steps, and so you can find resources out, just out and about. You'll know them because they have sparkles around them, and we can just pick some grain off of the ground. Okay, we see like a mechanism on the other side, but we can't get there at this moment, but we see two kind of goblin-like creatures down there, so we can go give them a piece of our minds. I think we need some grain. Let's go get our first taste of combat. I'm gonna hit that guy. So, if you're lucky, you can get an attack off on certain people before they figure out that you're there. And it's just about timing. Everything's about timing. So, we're starting off with, um, with her. With Valerie. And... A cool thing is to boost, and I'm pretty sure that just boosts like the attacks. You can hold RT if you see like the little wisps on the ground. Getting in, getting power. And we're just gonna go off on one of the cool skills that I like, because I have done this combat before. Moonerang. And it doesn't matter who we start on because this is the cool ability that she has. 
is we hold, we just press A to deflect it. It's all about timing. And if we are better at timing it, we can just keep bouncing it until we catch it at the end. So, let's keep it simple. He doesn't have a lot, but we can see at the top part of the screen, so they're wanderers, and at the top part on the other side, they have 19 out of 39 health left, and that one has 23 out of 39. So, yeah, let's just do it. Oh no. And I think this is where we'll come in handy with sequent flare, because I can't tell, like, I'm, I'm hitting A, but I can't tell if what I'm doing is actually, like, blocking or something. So, for people who need more confirmation in, like, the, se like, the blocking and the extra hits department, please use sequent flare. I think it would be a great help. But... We got some XP. I will also say, um, basic attacks restore your MP. So we get MP. That does not that button. We get MP just from doing things. I mean, we use our MP for our MP for skills, but in order to get your MP back, I'm pretty sure you have to use a basic attack. And yeah. so we can pick up this stuff. Some grain. Some coins. Need some more green. And just climb up here. I will say I don't know why, but like I'm also getting Stardew Valley vibes. I think that's just because you know, like pixels. But like, I guess just the overall like how this looks feel and like the music almost. But, either way, I love it. I love it so much. I'm just the kid in the back of the car playing video games again as I'm staying awake for the road trip. <laughs> A few adventures later, our heroes make it to ground level. In the port town of Brisk, a pirate crew promises to get them to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. On one condition. Tinks! It's not like you have an- it's not like you have other options. Still, making a deal with pirates? They seem nice enough to me. Alright, here goes nothing. We are in a tavern at the moment. Oh, hello. Captain Clichés. I, I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> Captain Clichés crew is here again. Oh, the, the, like, apparently this place is called the Humble Boast, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, somehow it feels like they have a more determined look about them. I just love the art style in here, my gosh. So we can interact with all the townsfolk if we want to. They have set dialogues and everything, um, which I don't need to hear since I practically invented it. 
but yeah, they all say things of, oh, basically no consequence, nothing that we need to worry about at the moment. We can talk to Teeks again. If you want to hear a spooky story, just light a campfire and I'll join you. Alright, cool. But when we're ready, we can ascend the stairs. Keenathan! Interesting. Well, look who it is. I'm sorry, is that man wearing two eye patches? Yolanda? Or Yol- 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 mm. I- I'm not good with names. A either way. The deal stands. If you can't beat Vol- Voltride at arm wrestling, we got an item that needs fetching. After which, Pirate's Honor, we'll take y'all to Wraith Island. What do you say? So we can say wait, but that just spits us out to us standing around. Or we can just... we accept. Everybody! Our wrestling battle! Yeah, jovial shouts and everything. Our wrestling contest, everybody. Gather around. Beautiful. Valtride, you're up. I'll do it. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. Plus, arm wrestling of real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Valerie. I'll be your challenger. Ooh, and that's Captain... Okay, that... It looked like it was cliche, it might not be cliche. <laughs> I mean, it could be cliche, but she's got like accent marks all over the place, so... But, um, she looks familiar. Hmm. Well, trade. Try it. Try it. Captain. Go all out. We can't leave without it. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. Tough one, you look like. Ready? On three. One. Two. Three. Oh. <laughs> Body slammed him into the table. Oof. <laughs> Girl. Cheater. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where we agreed on no magic shirt rule? Sorry pal, captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Well, at least Garl's having a good time. This will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. You're lucky we didn't ask about specifics. Should've negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. <laughs> Ultra and truly is good at everything. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Captain. North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I will use it to... Redacted for spoilers. <laughs> Redacted for spoilers. Huzzah. I don't know what we're huzzahing about, but alright. 
If she's in on it, then it must be a good thing. Good time, I suppose. Fine. How do we get in? Fear is what kept people away all this time. But you look like you can handle yourselves in battle. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. Keenithin, a bit of magic should do the trick. Does he not need the eye patches? Or do they keep magic inside him? I don't know. I shall open the way to the abandoned wizard lab, or my name isn't Keenithin. Oh, a captain? Ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch the coin of Undeath Accord, then meet me at the docks. Aye, aye, Captain. Yulon, Voltrade, and Kinithin join the cargo. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Table's still broken. Um, but as we can see on Garl, we can see cargo. And that's where I I don't know. For right now, it's where extra people are sitting in a pocket dimension waiting to be utilized. <laughs> so, in any case, our work here is done. We can leave the humble boast and end up in the port town of Brisk. We do a little looking around, see if we can't find anything. It looks so cozy around here. I just want to be here. <laughs> I just want to exist here. Oh, cool. We got like seeds and hammocks and everything. Uh, Quilliam. <laughs> Quilliam. Oh, the ocean. Bringer of dreams and notion. <laughs> she is judging. But. We can come in here, and whenever we find campfire embers, we can activate them. And it brings up our camp. We can't run, but we can definitely walk. And talk to all of our party members. This place is unreal. I hope Malcolm Malcolmud is doing alright. We don't know who that is. Crisp air and a worthwhile quest are all I want in this life and the next. Were we not adventurers? The way to the abandoned wizard will open for you, or my name isn't is not Keenathan. Right, right. Y'all ready to see me bust the place open? Easy, easy. And then we can talk to our other party member, or our other main character person, Zale. I wonder how long ago this wizard lived. That is a good question. And from here, we can swap characters. So, but we will stay as we are. And while we are here, we can activate the campfire again. The campfire feels cozy and warm, so we can rest, which will have us rest and then leave. Or, before we can do anything, resting-wise, we can cook. So, these are the recipes that we know. Um, girl's like, alright, yeah, time to cook. He is, I'm pretty sure the resident cook. Um, and as long as we have the ingredients that it says on the side, so we have 18 mushrooms, but it needs six in order to make that. And then we need two things of milk. As long as we have it, we can make it. And we can just hold it. I don't know why that part in my brain, it just gave me like, so here, here, here is, here is something that reminds you of Coffee Talk, which is a game I also love to just chill to. Um, we have grains, but we don't have fish, so we can't make those. So let's get down to like the basics of the food and eating food. So. We can only have 10 dishes in our inventory, and that just just thinking-wise when you're making stuff on what you would want to bring for yourself and why. So, Berry Jam gives plus 6 MP to an ally. Um, 
mushroom soup it gets plus 40 HP, but since it has three forks, it's indicating that everybody eats it at the same time. So, if you have one person use it, the whole party is going to use it as long as it has the three forks, which is really, which comes really in handy when you're like down on your luck, getting beat up, and you want to spend your turn healing one of your characters, but you don't want to spend like the entire thing. So, have one person that probably isn't like doing the best or you don't really care if they attack or not and just have them heal the entire party um and then herb fillet gives plus 80 hp to an ally and one person can eat that at a time but all right once you're ready i'm just gonna rest i don't know if you have to rest to leave or you can just walk out the door i'm not sure but either way all right let's leave my luck I got a cart full of goods and the only sailor sailors in sight are pirates miscreants I say I will not be seen aligning with ruffians please don't quote me on that <laughs> yeah everyone's enjoying a little beach day we can swim a little bit swim a little bit and explore I will say I've explored the town a little bit, so I'm just gonna go to where I remember the chests are. <clears throat> got six seafood. I don't know if I trust seafood from a chest, but hey, what can you do? There was a chest back here that I saw while we were on the pirate ship that has a seashell in it. Um, seashells are just things that can be sold to um, a collector. Okay, here we go. I was just like, oh no, I'm stuck in the water forever, but we can out of the water. Hello, sir. I heard some people are going to Wraith Island. Don't know what is going on out there. A chest with another seashell in it. Apologies. This area is off limits for the demo. Thank you. Yeah, so if you try to activate any of the guards, they're just... They're just gonna be up there. They're just gonna tell you, like, hey, you can't do that. There's two merchants in town, I'm pretty sure. Um, welcome, were you looking for new equipment? And since we're here, and we've got a little money, I wonder if we can maybe sell the... I guess we got seafood. Can we sell the... the seashell? No, I don't think she'll take it. But we can buy two items. So we can buy the rock lid, and we can buy the power belt. Cauldron lid, makeshift weapon with sentimental value. Well, I'm not gonna sell it because it's it's immediately tucked at my heartstrings by saying that it has sentimental value. But we can see that it does plus three to attack, um, and plus two to magical attack. So we will give that to him, and I will equip. Yeah, she does 22, he does only he only does 20 attacks, so we'll give him the the power belt to kind of put him a little higher. And then heading out, have you oh have a look at my fresh vegetables. Alright, cool. So from here we can buy or sell. We can buy potatoes, grains, eggs, and dairy. She's not selling mushrooms. And we need mushrooms and dairy in order to make that dish. So these are just things that you'll have to like be on the lookout for, but not right now. We should be pretty alright for now. And we don't have a dish that requires potatoes. Um can we save? We can save, so we only have three saves. You save things available. So I'm a kind of I'm a stacking save kind of gal. So I'm pretty sure people who have seen me play Dragon Age have just seen me like save on save on save and then like rotating them around. But yeah. So that's how we save. Magic floating book. Um let's go down here. Over 
don't get too crazy. I see a chest up there. Pirate garb. Cool. I keep hitting the wrong button because I keep hitting I keep hitting the start button like it's gonna bring up the menu. But um, is it armor? So the pirate's garb. Uh, probably used, most definitely. Gives uh, plus two to defense and plus two to max defense. So we will give that to her. Safe journeys and don't forget to time your hits and blocks. Thank you. If combat is getting hard, I was giving you a hard time. Maybe activate that relic you have. Oh, cool, thanks, man. Um, I don't think we're forgetting anything. So I think we can just go. Hmm. What is this? Okay, nothing. But we see a dragon over here. We see like we see something over here, but it looks like hot springs almost. Uh coral cascades. Mitsuda san's first guest track is right here in Coral Cascades. Oh This area is out of bounds for the demo, but if you stand here, you can listen to the music. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. And if we go up a little higher... Oh, hello. There's a dragon. And this is just the aisle that we saw while we were, like, it was doing the overhead shot when we first arrived, so we've basically already seen that there was this dragon here. But once we are ready, we can continue forward and we can go to this fishing lake. Uh, fishing basics. Press A to cast. Casting is always at full power. Uh, while airborne, steer the bobber with the left stick and press A to kick it into the water. If the bobber touches the water close to the fish, it's a hook. A hook, steer the fish with the left stick and press and hold A to reel while it's in the zone. Be careful not to reel outside of the zone, otherwise the line will break. Reel the fish all the way to the dock and it's a catch. Okay, let's try our hand. We can throw, we can throw it far. Get one of the big fish. Ooh, powerful fish. Powerful fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, the line's about to break. Oh cool, stunned it. Oh man. So I'm pretty sure like the things, the fish that are further back are just harder to catch. So let's, uh, no, missed it. Cool. Lunar trial, and we can fillet those right now. Or we can release them, but I want to fillet them. Oh, we saw some grain over there, so that's cool. I have found the door, but it seems it will only I will only be able to lift it a few inches. Valtride? This man's name changes every time I say it, I'm sorry. On your mark, pal. Oh, he has a peg leg, I didn't even realize. Commence! Milan, hurry! No sweat, big guy. Demolition is my middle name. Oh. 
up. I mean, that doesn't seem all too safe, but <laughs> that's what you get, you old ruin. That's one way to do it. A job well done, mateys. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. I will remain with Valerie's crew for now. These ruins are fascinating to me. Sure, can't hurt to have a mage around. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion. Or my name is, is not Keenathan. Have it your way, then. Coming, Valtrite? Hi. Good luck in there. Cool. When we're ready, we can enter the lab and oh my heavens. Oh, I don't like the non moving background. Moving, non moving background. It's tripping me out. My, what an imporial place. And look at this device! I wonder what it does. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? Abandoned wizard's lab. Oh. It looks like it should emit light, but it's inactive right now. And this one. The light is on, but it's missing a piece. Okay. Interesting. And this is selling us for the initial bracelet. And if I remembered for the the picture for the initial bracelet, it was showing, I think, these ruins. So, we're ready. We can do this and get the first access to this chest right here, where we find a green crystal. And since it has been a while since I've saved, I'm just going to save over this. Pirate's Honor. I wonder if that's the chapter that we're on. Either way, he's gonna stand right here. Based on old scriptures, you should be able to mix the light from dis different crystals to open new paths. Quite fascinating. But yeah, he's set up shop right here. There's a campfire here if we need it. But like he said, let's go put this crystal on the light. And with that, we get access to a green portal. Yep. Ah, dang it. I tried to hit that guy. Ooh, he's only got one. Okay. Ooh. Crap. I wanted to activate the sequence flare, but we are just gonna have to do without it. Um, starting on Valerie. I'm gonna use her skill first. Oh, smash enemies in an arc. Like, is it more than one, or is it just one? You know, we're gonna try with the Moonerang again. Since he only has that little clock there, um, above their heads, lets, them, lets us know how long they have until they do, like, they have their turn. So, he goes next, let's see if we can put some damage on him. Ah, dang it. Alright. So, Garl has two. Nourish, which is, um, there's a stack and a friend, which is a medium heal, or he can hurl someone to another position. Um, I have no clue what benefit this gives, but we will attack this guy, because he goes next. And I was able to hit him twice. He goes next. give our boy a little boost. Awesome. And if you see in the corner of the screen above like our party members, there's a thing called combo. We have to build up combo, basically. So I I have no clue how to stop the toilet bomb from toilet bombing. So I will just uh, attack this tonight. You know, because he hurt us. He dies, he uses detonate. Just... And, and 
Yeah, I don't think the combos carry over. So we're just gonna we're just gonna try out a combo so we can see what it looks like. Ooh, puzzles. No, really, I like puzzles. So this is fine. A teal amber staff. Need to stop hitting that button. Copper staff, teal amber staff. Uh, handmade by the Mulking Stone Masons. So it gives a plus four to attack. Uh, plus two to magical attacks so at top star off at 26 and 21. Heavens. Cool. Nope, not up there. Go over here. Uh, battle tips for all attacks and skills. You can time hits and attacks by pressing A at the right moment. Time blocks reduce incoming damage, while timed hits increase the damage output. Sometimes you can even score additional hits. More information in pause menus, how to play section. So, yeah, it's definitely helpful to be able to time your hits and your blocks. Because something that probably would have killed you could probably just take down some of your health. Oh, we found the blue crystal, so we can go back to the main room. I am going to save. Oh. And then we can remove the crystal. The blue one here instead. Ready? We can go through the blue portal. And we see that the room has entirely changed. Oop. Fall forever. Alright, cool. We can't jump this gap, but we can jump down this hole. And end up here. Survival tip. Snacks can be used to recover MP, HP and MP. The campfire can be used to cook more snacks. Carry limit is 10. If the level of challenge isn't to your preference, check out the relics panel for ways to adjust your experience. Cool. Alright. We see that there's a guy walking around. We can get him while he's walking away from us. Hit him! <laughs> Beat him up! And since she got the hit on him, she gets to have the funny little the funny little magic. Nice. We get some coin and some grain. Alright, we can jump down here. And up over here, we see another button that we can hit. Just continue on. Ah, dang it. Um, I want to see if I could probably get the moonerang thing to do, like, get rid of that. Because then maybe that's resists? I'm not sure. So let's start on him. And hopefully I can get this stuff to do it. Really nice cool animation. He's going. Leave him alone! Leave Carl alone! Alright, we got one turn until they're done. Um, can you use Nourish on yourself? You can! Oh, that's cool. Not me forgetting to pick up the stuff on the ground. Yeah, pick all that up. I don't... We'll save that for somebody else. I'm gonna go after him because he's causing problems. Uh, 
have her pick that up. And oh shoot. He does the bubble thing. I don't like it. And then Cool. Awesome. Do 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 do. Interesting. There's a guy all the way over there. We'll probably have to go over there sometime soon. Sometime soon, meaning in like the next 30 seconds. Alright. Bring this up. Nope. Yep. This way. I also like how the main characters. Not the main characters, but. Well, yeah, no, the main characters. Zale and um, Valerie. They have hair that lights up pertaining to like what they're following is, but their hair just is lighting up. Like he emits red and she emits blue. Ah, I wanted to hit him. That's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Let's see if we can try and moonerang them. And we're gonna start with him. Please let me get this. At least able to hit all of them. I don't even know what Hurl does. Enemies to another position. Like, like a position in like fighting or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're still gonna get bubble dropped. Oh, cool! I was able to perfect block it. He's gonna bubble drop us too. being mean to him. Okay, we're, we're hurting, so let's eat some mushroom soup. Okay, we're able to block that. Um, Crackle, we're able to kill it. You see me spamming and trying to just see if I can get it, but, yeah. Um, absorb that. Attack. This thing. Let's drive. Nice. Shoot. And that's what I'm talking about. The- the- just the freaking thunder. Okay. Attack. not gonna kill it. It's not gonna kill it at all. Um, hmm. Alright, it's not bad. He got up just to probably get dropped on his freaking feet and die. Oof. Oh, ho 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 Combo, please. Uh, well... I'm gonna see if oh, I can hold off and get a mending light, but I don't know if we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. Moonerang. Hit. Hit. Boost. Moonerang. Starting it with you. Flex. Dead. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Level four. Level up. Oh, cool. We got some bonuses. We got some health. We got some MP. We got some attacks. Um. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is random because I'm pretty sure this might be random every single time. But all right. Uh, oh shoot. What do we want? Do we want more MP? Do we want? Do we want more defense? Do we want some more attack power? Because that'll bring us to 30. 
I think 30 is pretty cool, but I think having 24 defense is also pretty nice. We're gonna go for defense with her. Fine, I'll have a physical attack. And then homeboy, Garl. We'll have him do physical defense. He's gonna be our party tank, if anything. But alright, once we're ready, we can pick up the shrimp. Cool. Shrimp, coin, grain. Shrimp, coin, and grain. Um ugh. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we hold on to our combos, like how much, how much we had in the combo meter, I don't think we hold on to that. So if anything, items, we can eat another mushroom soup, all of us. It didn't fully heal us. It didn't fully heal us. That's fine. We're fine. Um, oh, we didn't even activate this. Oh wait, here we go. Okay, that opens that. And that gives us that. Coolio. So we can now check this. Wonder back up here. Climbing this. Activate this lever. Which now gives us another teleporter. And if we remember, we took one earlier. We took this one earlier, but it was just the void in front of that part. So, we can take that. Which one is this there? Now we can activate this. Which now gives us another light up, lit up piece. So we can probably just put the next crystal there. Or the green crystal that we already have in our inventory there. So, let's put this right here. That'll change the color to teal. And we can save. Um, save over this. I told you, I did the flip flop. Flip flopping back and forth. And when we're ready, we can enter. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, a silver blade. Interesting. The only person that uses a blade is him, is Zale. But we can switch her for the silver blade, which is sharp and made of silver, which gives him a 32 to attack and a 24 to magic attack. Which should come in hand come in handy. No! <laughs> Dang it! Combo! Alright, cool. Just show up. Boy gets out of gets out of bed. Beats man to death. Um okay, so we can combo and we can do an attack. They're staring at each other. Either way. Check out the sick move. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> okay, so it seems we need to activate all of those on the side. Get coin for our troubles. It's two. With that, the waterfall gets pushed away. Platform arises, we get access to a chest over there. We're all doing, we're all feeling pretty bad, so. Let's eat. We get a red crystal. Carefully. Oh, switch out this. Red crystal. 
think that I think that's it. Save. Because we still don't have that extra light on, which I think is what we need in order to activate the next arch. Get up there, but there is a button down here. Activating that gives access to that up there. Oh, it is a fish lake. Is that a little lake? Is there anything? Treasures? Goodies? No? Okay. There is something sparkling in the lake. But there's also this well. Uh, hey! Hey! Right here in the, in the well. Uh, I lost my watch in the lake and a fish swallowed it. Would you mind catching it for me? Ought to be glowing? Oh, we did see a glowing fish. Are they sure that the wizard died in the tower or is, is he here in the well? What's that boy? The wizard? The ancient wizard who's part of this wizard tower stuck in the well? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Okay, so we get fish here. Casting. We already know how to fish. Line will break. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can't catch this fish. Too far. <laughs> Come on, you're right here. Cool. Well, I caught a fish with a golden watch in it, but yeah. Um, I mean, since we're here, get over here. Alright, that'll be all the fish that we catch right now. I don't want to deplete the lake. Did you find my watch? Uh, yeah, here you go. That's the one. Thank you very much, my friend. Here's a little something for your trouble. No response. Um, thank you, mysterious well man. And when we're ready, we can activate this. And it activates the last one that we need. Oh, okay. I didn't need to climb all the way down. <laughs> oh man. Okay, when we're ready, we can do this. Put the green crystal here, which makes the portal all white. And we'll just rest. It means I didn't even need to cook, but all right. Oh, Teex is here. Teex is here, but not in the room above the. Okay. Uh, want me to read you a story? I only have one so far, but it's kind of spooky. Let's hear it. For all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vesper time. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense? Okay, Hortense remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she was ready to quit the pirate life. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. 
and we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had met, had already made her final decision. Days went by, the both of them sulking, while their crew begged for some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. And one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew by conjuring an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds and to the ghastly place until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day, for but a few seconds, at the precise time the curse has was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertide. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Thank you, Teeks. Alright. Well, the campfire is cozy and warm, so we might as well cook. Uh, okay. We'll make... Alright, we can make five of those. We can't make any mushroom stew, but we can make... We only have three things. So if we can make five herb fillets, we can just make them all. Wait, so it's eight? How many? We only have one of those. So let's make three? Let's make four? Wait, there's three of us. We have two mushroom stews. And I'm just going to make all five. Cool. And then we will make this so it's three. We have ten. Yep, ten. Cool, 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 cool. All right, when we're ready, we can rest. I am far over my time, but I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna finish this out, because, yeah. Cool. All right, when we're ready, we can go through the white door. Oop. Huh? Hello? Anybody out there? Uh, be careful, Garl. We don't know what to expect here. I found something. It's tripping me out. Oop. What is that? Maybe the coin is in there? Wait! Feels powerful. Get ready. Okay, we don't know how much health this thing has, cause yeah, but let's fight nonetheless. Um, Minerai. please. The distance is so small, and it was just off rip just really fast. So if anything, start off with Solar Ball, because we didn't get it. Against the Chromatic ab Aberration? Cool, cool. Ah, dang it. 
I was going to take note real quick. He can't hurl this thing. He can't pick it up. It's a chromatic <laughs> creation. Aberration. He can't he can't do anything to it. So, yeah. Dang it. Ooh, one more until he gets an attack. Can make it not vulnerable? Well, it's only got one turn left. Um, yeah. Absorb that real quick. Attack this thing. Shifting. That stupid bomb thing. Okay, well. If I attack that, will... Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can... Oh, it's both. Interesting. So it's... I'm not sure. I can hurl that thing. Himself. We have one turn until that thing moves. Yeah, healing light yourself. Detonate. Oh my gosh, that's a stack. Dang it. <laughs> Arcane Singularity. Oh. I mean, it looks really cool, but please don't drop my heroes. Oh, oh, frick, oh, frick. <laughs> my team. Okay, that was bad. I shouldn't have used that because they're not awake. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that because they're not awake. But, oh, that's the last mushroom soup that we have. Oh, frick. <sighs> okay. I need... I need... I need you to attack this thing, please. Awesome. Combos maxed. Mending light. Please. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Cool. Do that. Attack. That. Dang it. Absorb. Attack. Cool.
I could do the dual attack to get them that, but I also want to build up just in case, like, I get freaking murked again. like using his his nourish ability to just be able to like whoop. 51 dear heavens man right, let's see what we can do with this try to go again and it just doesn't do it still Do its thing. Actually, wait. I don't even have like a splashing thing. So I just hit that. Oh man. Okay. Regular attack because she needs the. She needs the. She needs it. Here we go. Round the merry go round again. Oh no, he just brought up that thing. Hey, beautiful. Oh, wait. What? Oh, man. That's it for now. Thanks for thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed the short slice we put together and it gave you a proper taste of the full game. Feel free to replay it as much as you like and it should be up for a challenge. Oh, and should you be up for a challenge, rumor has it that a certain relic can be purchased at the hidden market somewhere in Brisk. Ooh, I didn't see that. Ooh, okay, maybe I'll have to be on the lookout. Maybe I'll try again. I'll have to be on the lookout for it. Oh, man. Okay, and that has been the demo for Sea of Stars. Um, really nice. Get you into, like, a dungeon. Introduce you to fishing, combat, um, boss enemies that have different... Oh, he's, he was doing something totally different. I don't freaking know. I've never seen anything like that. But, yeah. I already know from that demo, even before, like, the demo, but I already know from the demo itself how it plays and everything that I'm just, I'm very much looking forward to this game coming out. So, yeah, the demo, um, I'm playing on Xbox, the demo's available in the Xbox store under the demos. The game comes out at the end of August, um, August 29th, um, it's gonna be released on Windows, um, the Switch, uh, PlayStation, four five and then xbox one and xbox series s and x um so yeah that has been the demo of the sea of stars um so yeah next time we'll be continuing more with dragon age i just wanted to do a little something a little something different but yeah in any case until next time